What is up everybody? Josh here again and today we have an Icarus week 121 update. This week they have consolidated benches and added quality of life improvements. We also get some new purification tablets, news about the next update and chickens and how we're supposed to care for them and so much more. Let's get into it shall we? Icarus week 121 quality of life and benches. Icarus week 121 brings quality of life pass and new workshop water purification verification tablet. They're doing a quality of life pass and improving some UI and adding some small features and fixing a few outstanding balance issues. You'll notice this update is coming to you a day early and that is because they have an Easter holiday period there in New Zealand. This week we get quality of life passes focusing on improving the UI and adding a few small features that will add a new layer of death. They've consolidated benches this week, making, for example, if you can make something in the crafting bench, then you can make everything from the crafting bench in the machining bench, and you can make everything in the fabricator from the machining bench and crafting bench, basically. So what this means is that the fabricator can craft everything from the machining bench and the crafting bench, and the machining bench can craft, of course, everything from that bench and the crafting bench. It's tiered now. You don't have to have the crafting bench and machining bench if you have a fabricator. We also get an update on content expected to release in the Leica update. Let's jump in and have a read. This week, notable improvements are added prospect name to Open World's operations UI, added pirate crust for stone and salt, added tag query for mission items so players can filter to only show mission items they fixed many recipes not being refundable notably statues hard furniture industrial furniture they reduced respawn delay time to 10 seconds from 20 and added a right click context option to empty water containers let's show you a few of those I honestly have no clue what they mean about the names on the operations in open world i don't see anything about the prospect's name but with that said, you can now right click and empty any kind of container if you want to it. empty it. Just right click it and empty it. It's a lot easier to empty it that way. You are going to see noxious crust whenever you get stone now. So be careful whenever you're farming stone. You can get tons of stone actually with your noxious crust, which you can take back and get five per crust. And this also includes the salt as well. You get noxious crust for salt as well now. This week we go over the crafting consolidation that happened and they're introducing a crafting consolidation quality of life pass this week, which aims to simplify the bench progression between tiers. And their ultimate goal with this is to reduce clutter and bases and simplify your operations room. Also, the higher tier benches do craft faster. They also give us a really neat d design or diagram here. So for example, this is the highest tier bench that you could craft. And these are the other benches that you now will see the recipes in this bench. We have a nice little diagram here that we could click on and see. For example, the electric furnace is much better than it does better the other furnaces. And the fabricator, it will have all the recipes of the machining bench and a crafting bench. Of course, whenever you have a material processor, you don't need a mortar and pestle. And once you have a foundry, you don't need these other two. That's already kind of been done. But all the recipes in these two will be in the foundry now. Same thing goes for the carpentry and the electric carpentry. You won't need the masonry bench, the concrete mixer, or the advanced masonry bench if you have the electric masonry bench. So basically, any of the lower tier benches, you can go ahead and get rid of those now and just have the most advanced bench in your base. And it should do all the recipes for the previous benches. And this also goes for the alteration bench as well. The alteration base one here and then the advanced or electric one so if you're tier four and already maxed out if you have all these already in your base then you can get rid of all of these every single one of these in these first two three tiers if you have all these already in your base just get rid of these because there's absolutely no reason to keep them either put them in storage or dismantle them for mats here's a prime example in game so when we have all three of these benches here there is kind of still of a perk to keeping them. I mean, you can actually still keep the storage with inside them. If you do break this down, instead of having these two right here, these two I can actually go ahead and take out of here completely because we no longer need them. All the recipes from there are now in this bench right here. You can see every single recipe is now in this one bench here that even includes rope and the lantern. So you can literally make everything from the fabricator now. 
And you can also notice they kind of changed the repairs. So, for example, if we wanted to repair our lantern in here, we would need to have, of course, animal fat to do so. But you can actually repair it here. It says in the crafting bench, machining bench, or fabricator. So you can repair it in all of them now instead of just the crafting bench. So they changed the way stuff repairs as well. If it only repaired in a certain bench and now you have the highest tier bench, it should repair in that now. So now that you can consolidate your benches, for example, not needing the crafting and machining bench in this situation, are you actually going to do so? Are you going to continue to do what I do? I always end up putting resources and benches and stuff like that to make it easy to craft stuff when I need to. So I might actually keep it the way it is, but maybe on future builds, I'll just build up to the fabricator and leave it there. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know what you think. This week, we also get the Chico Puri tab and water treatment pill. Following from last week's water revamp, they've added a workshop item to complete the system. Chico Puri tab. You can buy this in the orbital workshop and take it down to the planet. It can be used to purify water from tainted or rain to treated. In addition, there are new craftable pills in the T3 crafted in the kitchen or chemistry bench, which will convert tainted or rainwater to filtered water. Both these items make it ideal for a quick filtration on the go while you're out exploring. Though for the best water quality, you still need the Tier 3 or Tier 4 purifiers, and it show what the Puri tab looks like in the Chigo symbol there. Under the Consumables tab, you'll see the Chigo tabs right here. They are researched for 25 Ren and crafted for only 10 Ren. And then, of course, you can just bring them down whenever you want to. Here comes fresh water. In our chemistry station or bench, we're going to show you the water treatment pill. It does require salt and charcoal to make them. It makes one pill and it is used to refine your water in your canteen. We have both the tabs here. We have the water treatment pill and the Chigo tabs here. And we're going to do, go to our character crafting inventory. It took me to actually, I had to contact one of the devs to figure out how to do this. It took me a while. You don't drag, I figured maybe you could drag them into your canteens, but you can't. The only way that you can actually purify is by using this. And what you'll do is you'll click on Chigo tab. And this one right here will use the crafted water treatment pill and then all you gotta do is actually craft it and now you'll have some filtered water by using that and this one right here will use the chigo tab so you actually treat these with the tabs the tabs that you bring down or the tabs you craft you treat them in your character's inventory so that's where you actually use them to treat the water you also get some future news about Leica and the upcoming progress that they've been making on that and they wanted to talk about one of the features this week which is chickens they state that you'll now be able to raise your own flock of fowl and harvest eggs in the chicken coop. Eggs will be added to existing recipes and will be featured in new ones. And chickens, just like on Earth, will have to be cared for and protected from natural predators like bears. And they're going to give us a little bit more updates here over the next coming weeks. So we're going to have chickens that you have to protect from predators. What joy. And next week we get the homeliness update that's where they're going to improve the sleep system adding a new dynamic sleep system that improves the quality of your sleep based on your base aesthetics and homeliness prospector will now sleep better in a well-built decorated home rather than a makeshift shack this will be provided not only by animal trophies but also rugs and other decorations we'll have more details about that next week so basically they're making a comfort system like in valheim where you get more or better rest Whenever you rest, we have the change law. We're going to go over the new content, which actually it's, we've already went over all the new content section. Let's check out the fix section. There is quite a large fix section this week. A fix consume stack missing on many foods and the trophy bench now has five Q slots. Trench shotgun used to be repaired with steel. Now it's repaired with titanium. They fix issues where you couldn't fill your canteen from water bodies on a client and they're fixing the tier four water trough so it runs correctly. They also fix the tier four food trough converting food into a new item high quality animal feed that's really it honestly for the fix section let's move on to future content we'll skim over the future content section here they mentioned sheep again and it looks like we are getting pets we are getting workshop dogs cats and horses and animal beds also talking about the hippo and that's really it for this change log
And thank you so much to Late Night Crew, KHS, Sergio, Wolfie, Sandy, Silver, John, MC2, Rod Knob, Aaron, Steady Bob, Jim K72, Kristen, Jaybird, Fubar, Chris Sanchez, Gamer Joe, Sky Reaper 1, Metal Storm, Alpha Tanker, Jason, Valiant, Fabio, Josh Jordan, Micah, Wild Wizard, Harry Muff, Sam Police, Lofinator, and Tyler. Thank you so much for being part of the Late Night Crew for supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to our supporters as well. That is it for this video. Don't forget, if, if you like what you see, to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. S subscribing will get you weekly Icarus update videos just like this one. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. Peace.